As you may see, this is our gluten-free bread. It's very moist. Hello, my healthy people. In today's video, I'm going to be making there's no need gluten-free bread. I'm using gluten-free flour to start off. I'm going to be adding three cups. One, two, three. One fourth teaspoons of Himalayan salt. One fourth teaspoons of active yeast, and this is a dry yeast. One teaspoon of axinum gum. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I always have like my tongue tied with that. Guys, I'm not going to go through it. All the ingredients will be in the description box. This is a simple and easy, gluten-free, no-need bread recipe that your entire family will love. No one will know that it is gluten-free. This is actually a requested recipe. Then you're going to mix everything together. So now I have one and one half cups of water and I'm using hot water. All I did was turn on the tap water and just let it run to hot, hot, hot. And then I just, you know, did it then. Let's just see. I may not need the exact one and a half, but let's see. I may just need one. Oh wait. <laughs> I need my spoon for this, not this thing. Anyway, if you're using your, okay, let's just knock this off, but a nice wooden spoon would be better. So you just take it like that and you just go around. I'm going to get my wooden spoon and it's just going to knock everything back inside just like that. What I will do is I'll take my wooden spoon. That wooden spoon is much better. So we're going to say just one cup is perfectly fine. You don't need one and a half. All right, my healthy people. So once everything is all mixed together, as you may see, that is pretty much all you're going to need. I'm going to take off the excess. Take off the excess. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So we're going to cover this up and let it sit on the countertop for three hours. Doesn't have to be in a warm spot. Just covered for three hours on the countertop. So before you know it, it'll be three hours and I'll be back. All right. All right, my healthy people. So it's been about three hours. Let's see what it looks like. Doesn't look like it moved at all. <laughs> Let's just put it on a floured counter, empty it out, put some flour on top, okay, just a few times, we're not doing any kneading or anything like that, just trying to get the flour in there and around there. Some of that stickiness out. So the next thing that you want to do is get some parchment paper and get a bowl and then line it with it like that. All right, like that. And then you want to put your dough inside just like that okay once you have it inside you're gonna cover it up with a towel and then it's time to heat up our oven I have a Dutch oven let's put this in the oven covered like this at 450 okay my healthy people so this was in the oven at 450 degrees for about 30 minutes that's about the time it takes for my oven to get to about 450 degrees this is pretty hot, so I really don't want to touch it. So I don't want to burn myself. So be, try to be very safe. I'm just going to put this inside of here just like that. I'm going to cover it up. And now I'm going to put it back in the oven. All right, my healthy people. So 30 minutes. This stuff is really hot, so make sure your kids are not around <laughs> to burn themselves. Looks so good, doesn't it? Woo! Yes! So what I'm going to do now is just to get a little bit more crisp on top, I'm going to put it back in the oven uncovered for 15 minutes and then we'll be back. 
this is what it looks like now i put it back in for 15 minutes this is super hot right now okay my healthy people i started cutting this bread and i forgot that it was too hot okay, so this is what it looks like gluten-free bread it's very moist mmm mm, nice and crispy look at that perfect so once again this is our nice warm and moist bread gluten-free put some butter enjoy it that's all i have for maxine's corner guys if you love this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel why because it is free healthy recipes and healthy tips all right and what say it with me stay healthy, stay healthy.